Hey guys, Jenny with Excel Performance Group. I recently sat down with Ross McCombs, who's been a racer for 30 plus years, and he was able to tell me why our brands are better than our competitors. Let's hear what he had to say. Flex plates have been made the same way since the 20s. They've never changed how they did them. It's a hardened steel ring gear. They're trying to weld it to a, a soft, low carbon steel center, stamp center. Um, until we came along, until we, we've come up with this new patent pending uh, modular flex plate, um, the issues were of trying to get a high carbon steel attached to something that's low carbon steel. I just, they just don't go together very well. Um, and now with the increased horsepower and RPM of cars, a typical OEM flex plate is only rated for 5200 RPM. And, and the weak link in them is not only the soft material used to, to stamp the center, but also trying to weld a high carbon to low carbon um, two materials. And it tends to want to crack the welds around the ring gear. And if that happens at those high RPMs and torques, it separates the ring gear from the center, which is never good. Unless it's in one of our bells, then you're OK. But what happens is those become projectiles coming out at 8,000 RPM, just like miniature bullets going everywhere. And this modular flex plate, what it is, it's actually all built out of 4130. Um, we've got a, um, the core plate, the base plate, uh, actually is all laser cut. And so we've got 3 mil accuracy on the laser cut. And the modular is not modular, Ford modular, the modular meaning that um, on top of that, we actually have six segments that are um, actually attached to the, the core base of it with 4130, 18, 4130 pins, and then they're laser welded top and bottom so they can't get apart. Um, we've already had this flex plate through SFI 29.1 and to SFI 29.2, which is a high horsepower high RPM, even higher than the 29.1. So, but what you get out of the modular that you don't have with, with the way they've typically been built is the balance on, um, out of the box, the balance on an OEM style flex plate is really not good. It, it, it typically runs between 20 and 30 grams out of balance. Ours will run within 7 tenths of a gram, was the worst one I found, um, right out of the box without any additional balancing. It's extremely accurate, extremely strong, um, and priced basically the same as an OEM flex plate. Well, it's always great to hear from someone else just how great our brands really are and what a competitive advantage we really do have. Stay tuned in the future for more fun facts about all of our brands.